that embarrassing? Don't eat it, it doesn't taste very nice. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh, and I dropped it. She is weighty and she is wonky. <laughs> Hey, welcome, let me just scoot you back a little bit. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we join you with another advent calendar unboxing. And this time, if you've seen the vlog where I get this, one that I cried over. <laughs> That embarrassing this is the selfridges advent calendar i've clearly already got a little bit of makeup smudge on it there this is the first time i have ever had this advent calendar so i have no idea what kind of treasures are in store it's a slightly different design to the core beauty one it's got like a top bit with a load of boxes in and then two drawers so it's gonna take me a little bit longer to find everything but i'm well excited also smells delightful. It smells like I've walked through the perfume counter section of Selfridges. I might pull out the bottom one and put it on the table. God, it smells so strong. Let's get going. Let's unbox the Selfridges advent calendar. Can I position this in a way where you can actually see all three tiers? Look at that. Oh no, you can't see the top tier. There you go, box. Number one, I really enjoy how they've got little, oh, you can't see it. If I do this one here, here. They've got a little tag so you can like pull them up. So yeah, the number one is over here. I actually do know what's in this because I got really excited and I opened it. But door number one is a really good door. It's got one of the few products in it that kind of made me want the advent calendar. And this is Refi Brow Sculpt in Clear. This is one of my favorite brow gels. It's honestly one of those like brow gels that's more like a wax and your brow hairs are going absolutely nowhere. Big fan, would recommend. Very, very glad to have got this in this box. So yeah, that's door number one. All right, let's get to taste I'm getting used to. That's 22. Ah, door number two is on the bottom layer. It's here. These boxes are all really good sizes. So I'm hoping there's some really good products in here. Oh, that is a proper full-size product. This is the Dr. Barbara Stum. Stum, Stum, Stum. It smells delightful. Clarifying serum, and that's so clearly a full-size product. I don't want to open it, because I kind of want to save it. Oh, no, I'm going to open it. Oh, look at that. That looks so premium. Door three is next to door one. Isn't that convenient? So in door number three, which is another like tall skinny one, which I can't open. This comes in handy. This is a uh, nail file. True Fiction Holiday Pencil Set. She was eye pencils. Oh, very cool. So these are, I just say pencil crayons. So I assume they're eye pencil crayons. You've got Burn Out, which I assume is a black. Plaster Cast, which is a white. And then you've got Lady and Hussy, which is a red. Also, these lids for them are insane. Oh, there's a, there's a sharpener in the lid. That's clever. Oh, that's door 21. I opened door 21 and not door three. So uh, that's day 21. Let's actually open up door three, because that's hilarious. This is door three. Oh yeah, it's the Tasha Denona Mini Bronze Palette. These palettes are amazing. I think I've already got one of them. Yeah, I've got this one, which is the Mini Love Palette. And they're actually like so good. And they've got a really nice, well, at least this one does, a really nice arrangement of colors. So very excited to have that in my life. That's day number three, the pencils day 21. Day four is here. Let's make sure I actually pick up door number four, shall we? Shall we? Interesting. We got something from this brand in the Colt Beauty Advent Calendar. This is the Fable and Main Soothing Serum, which is a basically a scalp serum to be left on overnight and then rinsed out in the morning. I currently am using a scalp serum by The Ordinary, and I'm actually really enjoying it. Door number five is in the bottom layer, which is now on the table. I'm really enjoying how luxurious this entire experience is feeling. Oh, that is a snug fit. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I freaking love Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm very excited to give that a go. And day six is also down here. So let's, ooh, something from Paula's Choice. The Paula's Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster, which is to refine pores, pores, and smooth texture. I feel like I've been sleeping on Paula's Choice for most of my life, and I need to get with the times. Door seven. Then it's also in this bottom layer. God, three doors in a row. So door seven is this one here. And we have the Lisa Eldridge 
Luxurious Lucent, 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 Lucent lip colour, which is a lipstick. I freaking love getting makeup in these advent calendars. It's really, really fun. Oh, it's like tarnished slightly. Can you see that? Can you see that? Is that picking up on camera? Ooh, that's a nice colour. That's like a really, uh, like, kind of like everyday, your lips are better nude colour. And I really love the like imprint on it. Day eight is at the top here. Day eight is an absolutely humongous beast of a box. It's also quite heavy. There are two things. We've got the Hair by Sam McKnight shampoo. And what I assume is a conditioner. I've only ever tried Sam by, um, Hair by Sam McKnight hair masks. So I'm quite excited to try like a shampoo and conditioner from them. And then door number nine is in this middle layer. It's this like really long box. It is the Fleur Missing Person Eau de Parfum. Is this why it smells so nice in here or is it just a coincidence? It's just a coincidence. It smells amazing, but it's not what the box smells of. I really enjoy samples like this, which are slightly more than those like tiny, tiny, tiny samples, but aren't a full size bottle. I also ate some. <coughs> mm. Don't eat it, doesn't taste very nice. Door number 10 is up here. Oh yes, I love this brand. This is the Maylin, oh I, do... I did not know they made candles. This is a Maylin and Goetz candle. Is this what smells nice? That is a contributing factor to what smells nice. Ooh, it smells a little bit like, you know when you go to like really fancy cocktail bars and there's like nice fragrance going around but then it also just smells of like alcohol. Kind of smells like that. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's appealing or not but that's what it smells like to me. So then door 11, middle tier. We have the, another Eau de Parfum and this time from Penhag, Penhaligons. Penhaligons? We've got another perfume. I'm not going to smell it because otherwise it's going to contribute into like one mega smell. And I've already got quite a lot of smells going on in my face at the moment. Where is door 12? It's really hard because you have to check like a million different layers. Where is door 12? Oh, 12. Right in front of my face in the bottom layer. So, door 12 is the 111 Skin Rose Quartz Exfoliating Mask, which I have tried before. It's actually really lovely. I mean, door 13 is just like this whole box. This might be the biggest box. I think it's even bigger than Christmas Day. That's like, that is unnecessary. But it's the same size as my face. Okay, okay, I see you. With multiple products. Although I don't know what this is. <laughs> the Davin's Oi All-in-One Milk, which is a multi-benefit beauty treatment. I have no idea, but I have this. I'm sure I'll work it out at some point. And then I've got the Complete Air Dry Cream, which I assume is also for your hair. And then, we have the Wow Raise the Root Thick Lift Spray. Wow make that hair treatment thing that when you blow dry it makes your hair like super shiny and sort of half waterproof. Where's 14? This is actually quite an ordeal. Behind day number 14, we have another Eau de Parfum. That's the third one. That feels quite extreme. I don't get me wrong, I do like a perfume sample of this size, but to have three already by day 14. Day number 15, which is halfway through, is in the bottom tier. I say halfway through, it's halfway through the month, it's not halfway through Advent. Ooh, we have the Costa Brazil Sol Sunlight Body Oil for all body types. I love mixing body oil in with moisturizer. You are overheating, so I'm gonna let you cool down and then we will continue with door 16, which is a big one. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh, and I dropped it. <coughs> it's got multiple products in it again. Yeah, but they're like buried in there. Well, we've got the Vida Glow Marine Collagen something. Oh, okay. Collagen like sachets. Oh, and now you're running out of charge. And then in here as well, Relax and Sleep Bath Salts. I freaking love bath salts. Door 17 is also up here. And behind this door, something from Biosense. Oh, I think I've tried this before. This is the Squalene and Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum, which I'm pretty sure is the one I just finished. Yeah, I've just finished this. It's actually really lovely. I tend to go more for clarifying serums, but it's a really, really good 
hydrating serum. 18 is here. I found that one really fast. Back into this kind of like small box territory. And we have one of the Augustinus Beta Rich Creams, which we also got in the Cold Beauty Advent Calendar. A friend of mine at work, it's her favourite moisturiser, so I might give her one. 19 is in the bottom layer. Oh, it's light. It's the Raban Colour Shot, which is a cream to paint liquid eyeshadow. Oh, cool. It, it honestly feels like I'm in like A-level art and I'm using the paints that come in like the little metallic pots. Door 20 is also in this layer and we have the Dermalogica Daily Mil Milfoliant, which is a calming oat based powder exfoliant. Oh, I have one of these a little while ago, not the specific one, but like, yeah, you put it into... It's like a powder, you add it to water and it like makes like a cleanser. It's kind of cool and kind of really useful for traveling because obviously it doesn't count as a liquid in your suitcase. We've got day 21, which are the three eye pencils. They opened by mistake. Day 22 is up in the top corner here. Okay, so this is the Jizu Honey Infused Hair Perfume. I've never used hair perfume, but... I'm kind of here for it and I freaking love this brand. When I saw the photo of it though, I thought it was the Jisoo hair oil, which is kind of what I wanted more than really a hair perfume, but I will take it. I will not complain. <laughs> then 23 and 24 are on this bottom layer, so I'm gonna stick that up here. So that's A22, this is A23. Kylie Cosmetics Plumping Gloss which in the shade Curve Him. Oh, it's actually a really nice shade. It's like a neutral lip gloss with gold glitters in it. I've actually never tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics yet, so very much looking forward to trying that one out and giving that one a go. Are you ready for Christmas Eve? Day 24 is here. We've got the Bioma Depuff Bright Eye Gel. I've only tried one thing from Bioma, and if you watch my recent empties, you'll know that I loved it it was honestly one of the best face moisturizers solid option for day 24 and then day 25 which is this like proper big door we've got a door of multiple products all rebay gold lust nourishing hair oil which i need hair oil so i'm happy about that we've got the byredo mad red lipstick this is a huge box for one lipstick is there only me who thinks that? That's so unnecessary. How expensive is this lipstick to come in like a pouch? She is weighty and she is wonky. <laughs> That's such a pretty colour. This packaging is weighty and it also comes in the most ridiculously bougie pouch I have ever seen in my entire life for a lipstick. We then have a beauty concierge special gift for you. A complimentary 45 minute beauty concierge appointment at one of the locations in store or book an online virtual appointment to enjoy from the comfort of your home. From personalized advice to a pampering treatment, let our experts bring the best of our beauty hall to you. London, Manchester Traffic Centre and Manchester Exchange Square. Are they the only Selfridges stores? And then we've got two nail polishes, which are the funnest packaging for a nail polish ever. The fact that this has like a little ball on the top, I'm kind of really here for. I don't know what this brand is, I assume pleasing, but you've got pearly tops and bine ripe. I think the Colt Beauty Evan calendar is better, but whether that's a bias, I don't know. I think there's a really, really good range in here of skincare and makeup, slightly too many fragrances, but skincare and makeup and like beauty products. The packaging is just so freaking Lux. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe. I had so much fun opening this advent calendar because it's something that I've obviously never opened before. I enjoy the little touch of the Selfridges yellow. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.